Father, we give you the majesty and dominion and all the excellence. We declare there is no one like you. You are the king of heaven, the great I am, our maker, our creator, our redeemer, the Lord God of heaven and the heaven. Thank you, Father. Jesus, mighty name we pray. Now, before I draw some analogy from what we've watched, I want us to pray for all the castes today that the great hand of God shall be upon their life. Can somebody say amen to that? That they will be filled with God's wisdom. And as God has used them today, God will use them to the end of their life. Can we begin to pray? Everybody say, Father, we pray for all the cast today. Let your great and mighty hand be upon their life. We pray that as you have used them to bless us today, Lord, use them to the very end of their lives let's begin to cover them with the blood of jesus they have played different kind of roles lord we cover them with your precious blood and by the covenant of the blood they shall continually manifest and act for the revelation of your glory power and majesty in the name of Jesus let's begin to declare them blessed let's declare them strengthened let's declare them established in faith in power in grace in glory of God we declare you blessed you have been an instrument of blessing today we declare your own blessed we declare your children blessed we declare your work blessed we declare your life blessed in the name of jesus in the name of jesus let's begin to declare mount zion ministry blessed everybody are you there so we declare very simple prayer we declare Mount Zion ministry blessed more and more. We declare that they shall continually be instruments of the revelation of the glory of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare Mount Zion blessed. We declare everyone being used under that ministry blessed. Rakata Malaba. We declare mighty revelation of the glory of God through that great ministry in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. Can you be seated? You are blessed. So we're going to take that song All hail the power of Jesus name We take it to exalt the most high And I will Speak to you as the Holy Spirit lead me About the majesty of the almighty And you need to keep recognizing him All your life
Isaiah 45, I take from verse 5. The Lord said, I am the Lord and there is no other. Apart from me, there is no God. I will strengthen you, though you have not acknowledged me. So that from the rising of the sun to the place of his setting, people may know there is none beside me. I am the Lord and there is no other. Amen. Amen. We want to think about five prayer points. And it hinge around you never forgetting the one who redeemed you, the one who made you. From the beginning of the Bible to the end, the crisis of man centered around substituting God with something else. When Adam and Eve started listening to somebody else rather than the living God, they were brought down. They forgot the voice that set them up. They set up another voice in their life and they were actively dancing to it. And like I've told you all through as you are preaching, the world is setting up strange voice that he wants us to be dancing to. The world wants to teach you how to live in your family. The world around you wants to teach you how to do your exam. How to do so many things. How to run your body. How to run. And they are engineering this through our education. Every system in the world is programmed in a direction. Rebellion against the Lord of hosts. Years passed, 40 years, 45 years ago, when we were reading about all kinds of number in the Bible, we never believe we we'll enter into them today. Because the word of God remains forever true. We are going to pray this morning that the Lord will not allow us to ever depart from him. That the Lord God of heaven we help us to keep acknowledging his place in our life that when we are lifted we will not leave him alone we will keep knowing that every lifting from level to level is from him so you are going to first of all worship and thank him say lord i worship you today let it's not an ordinary worship i recognize you today that you are my creator I acknowledge you today as my maker is somebody there I acknowledge you today as my redeemer I acknowledge that you are the one who has brought me to the level I am today I acknowledge your grace I acknowledge your power I want you to say it with excitement this is not a murmuring prayer. They are simple. Lord, very simple. I acknowledge you, Lord, as my maker. I act, You can't roar like that. You can't say loud and clear. Lord, I acknowledge you that you are my maker. Oh, Lord, I acknowledge you that you are my rock, that you are my glory, that you are the lifter of my head. That you are the one who has carried me to where I am today. I worship you. I ascribe to you glory, honor, majesty, dominion, and all the excellence. I declare you are the Lord. Beside you, there is none has. Amen. Leading you, can't you say with all of your strength? You know, when you enter even into the Kabir Sikh Bala, I see people tremble. How much more before the living God, before the great I am, the king of all kings. You have seen him there, that he is the king of all kings. There is no power except him. 
All the power in his kingdom were used. They never walked. Anytime God stepped out, everything goes quiet. That's your father. I'm going to give you another opportunity. It must be from your spirit. I am leading you to see something. And may Holy Spirit help you to see it. The title of their drama is Ologmara. Don't forget the team before us this month. Baptism of what? Of wisdom. Your wisdom begins in the fear of God. And the fear of God is not an empty fear. The fear of God comes from your deep understanding that this is my maker. This is the one that holds the power of life and what? And death over me. This is the one who sees me anywhere I am. And so there is no eye down before him. So again we are repeating our first prayer. I am leading you on the path of dominion. You will get there. The grace and the glory of God will come upon you like a cloth. In the name of Jesus. So as somebody who recognizes what I am saying, can you say, Father, I acknowledge you today that you are my maker, my creator, my redeemer, my glory, my strength my refuge my hope for the future i give you glory i give you majesty i give you dominion lord from my heart i adore you i adore you for all your goodness for all your blessings for your grace which you have bestowed on my life. I worship you. I give you praise. Let somebody say glory. I can't hear you. Let somebody say glory. Unto the Lord of us. Glory. Unto the great I am. Glory. To the everlasting Father. Glory. To the ancient of days. Glory. To the first and the last. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you jubilating praising him? Hallelujah. We worship you Lord. We exalt you. We hear you most high. You are lifted up. In Jesus' mighty name, we give thanks. Brethren, the step I am leading you is to recognize the great God. When this is deep seated in your life, you will easily enter his courts. Many times we just jokingly praise God you think you are praising because there is no deep sense of how great he is he said I am the Lord and there is no order if anything will ever happen is behind it if anything will not happen is I am the Lord there is no order he said I have strengthened you many times God strengthened us but he said no we won't acknowledge his strength. Sometimes you think it's the way I read. I read. So I got first class. You wouldn't know that there is a strength now. There is a hand behind. He say a house is built by someone. But God is the builder of what? Of all things. Can somebody celebrate Jesus? And say, Father, I celebrate you. I celebrate you. I worship you. I give you praise. I give you thanks. I give you thanks. I give you honor. I give you honor. I give you majesty. I give you dominion. I give you all the excellence. In Jesus, most precious name we pray. I am acknowledging you for who you are.
It's not planned. We moved in that direction. All the days of your life, you will live to be praising Him. I pray for you. Let your heart be here. I decree today, your life will be for the glory of God. I declare your understanding open. To acknowledge God, to recognize His greatness, to recognize His move in your life, and to give Him praise and glory that is due to Him in all situations. In the name of Jesus. Can somebody say, In the name of Jesus? Lord, I make a covenant today that I will worship you. I will praise you. I will give you the glory that is due to you. Help me, Father, never to forget you. Help me, Father, to live to honor you with everything that you have made me, that you have made with my life in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we finish that one. So we go to the remaining four prayer points. We are going to ask God that anything that will take you away or divert your attention away from God, that God should cut them off from your life. Anything that will take me away from faith, from God, from worship of God, from following the Lord, any distraction that may ever happen on my journey in life, that will take them away. I pray ahead today. Is somebody praying? You are murmuring again rather than pray. Say, Daddy, anything that will distract me or take me away from you, from faith, Lord, cut them up from my life. Are you there to pray? Father, cut from me anything that will take me away from you, anything that will take me away from faith, anything that will distract my life. I plead today, Lord, cut them off from my life. Cut them off from my life. Cut them off from my life. Cut them off. Are you praying? Cut them off from my life. Neutralize them in my life. Break their dominion over my life. Every distraction. That the devil may raise to, to take me away. Lord, I declare them neutralized. Oh, I declare them neutralized. I declare them neutralized. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Can you begin to say, Father, baptize me with your wisdom. To follow you. To manage my life. To manage my relationship with you. Lord baptize me. Is somebody praying? Father baptize me. With your wisdom. To manage my life. To manage my relationship. Lord with you. In the name of Jesus. Don't allow anything. To carry me away. Let my eyes be fixed on you. Holy Spirit, strengthen me in my inner man that may keep standing for the faith, for righteousness, in honor of you, O oh Lord, my rock, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Prayer number three. I receive help from above to fulfill my destiny. Is somebody there? Can you say, Lord, I ask for your help. You are the helper of the helpless. You are my father. I ask for your help today. Simple prayer. Lord, I ask for your help. Are you praying with all the strength in you? Lord, I ask for your help to fulfill your purpose for my life. Lord, carry me. Help me. Oh, don't allow your crown of glory to be taken from my life. Don't allow my way to be turned upside down. I ask for your help today. Father, help me. You are my God. You are my Lord. Don't let me die like this. Is somebody pray? Don't let me die like this. I want to enter into all of the fullness of your blessing which you have ordained for me. Help me, oh Lord. You are the real helper. I ask for your help. Help me, Father. Help me, King of Kings. Help me, Lord of Lords. Help me, great I am. I look up to you. Is somebody holding the garment of Jesus and drawing help? Kali Adama. Wipe away the finger of the enemy from my life. I receive the help of God for the journey ahead of me. I receive the help of God to fulfill God's purpose in my academic life. To so have breakthrough in marriage, I receive the help of God. I receive the help of God for economic breakthrough on the head. I receive the help of God to, for rest of mind. I receive the help of God for peace. I receive the help of God for rest of mind. I receive the help of God for economic breakthrough in life. I receive the help of God to live a fruitful life. Hey, somebody is not praying. Can Imanda, I declare you loose to pray. I declare strength of God unleashed into your life. I receive the help of God. I receive the help of God. The help of my creator and savior. Ne katala gaba. Rene gebo. Masoli katala. Roli karaba shala. Rene keporia. Rusheleba. In Jesus mighty name we pray. When Daniel appeared in the palace. You will see he was carrying God inside. He was carrying heavenly beauty. He was carrying grace that nobody can contest. You are going to tell the Lord, Father, decorate me with all that I need to handle my life. Father, decorate me with all that I need to live in dominion. Father, decorate me with all that I need to end up being celebrated in destiny. You see, they were celebrating Daniel. Everybody bowed down to the God of Daniel. Can somebody say, my father, I come to you this Sunday, decorate my life with all that I need, the wisdom that I need, the anointing that I need, the grace that I need, the beauty that I need. Decorate me with fullness of your grace, with fullness of your wisdom, with fullness of your power. Hey! Don't let me die a non-entity. Kelly Bakanda, is somebody praying? 
decorate my life with all that I need to get to where you have ordained for me. I don't want to live a superficial, irrelevant life. I want to live a impactful life. I want to live a life that we make mark in my generation. Lord, decorate me by the power of your spirit. In the name of Jesus, decorate me, Lord, with your beauty. Deposit into my life special gifts to manifest for you. Ah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Can you copy the voice of the girl that was, that was making oration there? Can you copy it? If God didn't give you that kind of voice, can you copy it? Gift matters. What do I say, everybody? What do I say, everybody? And when God gives you gifts, nobody can copy you. You just stand out. Daniel, in the midst of darkness, stood out. They called them slaves. Suddenly, they became governors. Give translated them, changed their location, changed everything about their life. Hello, I want you to cry to God. Say all the good gifts. The Bible says every good and perfect gift come from heaven, come from the Lord. Do you want God to give you gift this morning? We are under a season of wisdom. We are talking about baptism of God's wisdom, baptism of God's fullness. They will give you microphone, you will speak. And hundreds of thousands will begin to see the Lord at work. There is a gift that can position you to stand before president and begin to guide them. Is somebody asking God, Daddy, don't let me leave your presence this morning without something to take away, something tangible, something good, something that will endear people to favor me, something that will speak inside of me. And even the dead we hear. Open the heaven today, O oh God of my life. And bestow on me peculiar gifts of your spirit. To strengthen my, me on the journey. To establish your purpose. To launch me into realms. Beyond the hand of man. Kelly Nan Karuma Shilande Gebo. Say, I present my heart. I present my soul. I present my spirit. Father. Oh, Kelonia. Karia Dabori Ma Kelinda Yama. Let a precious gift that befits your purpose for my life. Be released into my life. Keli nande galia karia banima kerembo lima. That I may prevail and manifest and become what you want me to be. Lika nia. Let me gain strength today to run and never be weary. Let me gain strength today to walk and never faint. Nika yada. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Final prayer. You are going to declare whatever belongs to the devil in my life, let it be burnt with fire. Listen before you pray. Sickness belongs to the devil. Are you with me? There are some power. When opportunity comes, grace to respond is not there. Something tie us down. Every invisible shackle belongs to the devil. Whatever belongs to the devil in my life, Father, I am asking, let your fire burn them up. Is somebody praying? Very simple prayer. Whatever belongs to the devil around my life and in my life, I submit them for destruction today. Destruction of the fire of the Holy Ghost. Destruction of whatever belongs to the devil in my life. Daddy, let your fire consume them. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Burn up every deposit of darkness around my life and in my life. I prevail. 
Kaya tuli moranda gaba la malagaba. Every deposit of the devil, you are destroyed by fire in my life. I have been redeemed by the blood. Rakata la bala malagaba. I have been redeemed by the blood. I declare every walk of darkness over my life burnt with fire. Speak clearly. Speak clearly to God. He's listening to you. Nikeremosa. Nikerebo. Every evil sacrifice that has been conducted against my life be consumed by fire. Be consumed by fire. Be consumed by fire. Be consumed by fire. I am victorious by the covenant of the blood. I get to where God has ordained for me by the covenant of the blood. I live to fulfill his purpose by the covenant of the blood. Great and wonderful things discover me in the name of Jesus. I am discovered for glory, for beauty, for fulfillment. For great exploits in destiny in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The king was moving from one level to the other, seeking advice until Daniel was discovered. I pray for each of you today. All the great things that God has packaged into your life shall be discovered. I pray for you. Are you there? I decree, oh God, create platform for the expression of your glory in the lives of your children. In the name of Jesus. I declare divine platform is created for your revelation. Divine platform is created for your blessing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are in Jesus center. Today I declare the mighty hand of God for unusual exploits. Rest on your life. Exploits in your academics. Exploits in your business. Exploit in your career. Exploit in your marriage. Exploit in marital matter. Every power working for delay is broken in your life. Every power working for stagnation is destroyed in your life. In the name of Jesus, the hand of God rests on you to carry you on a great speed on the lane of destiny in the name of Jesus I declare the God who set up the world and put Jesus center inside it set you up Kelima Kuriadama in location where you will live blessed the Lord sets you up wherever you have been afflicted the Lord uproot you from there in the name of Jesus. On every direction that you turn, I declare open door for you. For advancement. For prosperity. For establishment. For fulfillment. For accomplishment. For great exploit. In the name of Jesus. July is winding off. This year we know him until you get to where God wants for you. Until your miracle is delivered to your hand. In the mighty name of Jesus. It is a season of breakthrough in your life. A season of turnaround in your life. And so supernaturally, I declare your case taken up. Thank you, Father. Whatever are the burden on your heart as you come to church today, I decree the Lord step in. Amen. Now on them, receive God's peace. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Celebration awaits you. Amen. 
Celebration awaits you. I pray for somebody. You will sing a new song. Among the congregation of saints, you will sing a new song. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord God Jehovah is coming to help you. He will carry you across the strange bridge. And his name shall be praised in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. This week, whatever significant step you want to take, the greater I am will go in with you. He will go ahead of you. He will make the journey easy for you. I bless you, church, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And so it shall be for you. In Jesus' name, you are blessed.